Hello again. The purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to convert a 2D drawing into a solid model. Please remember that there are always more than one way to do anything. My method of drawing with AutoCAD may seem unusual, but it has worked for me for the past 20 years. So please stay tuned. What you are looking at is my 2D drawing and solid model in paper space. The first thing I'll do is erase both the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings disappear from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get into model space, I'll click the model button. Notice that the drawings still exist in model space even though they were erased in paper space. Now, however, I'll split the screen in model space into two view vertical viewports so that there will be room to redraw the solid model on the right-hand side of the screen. I created the two viewports so that you can see the original drawing on the left and better understand how I'm going to create the solid model. First, I'll create a new layer, call it solid, make it blue, and make it current. Then, I'm going to draw two circles which are concentric. The largest circle will have a diameter of 1.032 and the smallest circle a diameter of 0.656. And then I'm going to make the layer current, which has center lines, and put a center line through the large circle. And now I'll zoom into an area of interest. At this point, I'm going to offset this line 0 0.03 up and 0 0.03 down. Next, I'll break the outer circle and select a first point at this intersection and there for the second point. And I'll repeat that procedure for the inner circle. Now, using the trim command, I'll clean up the intersections. And then zoom back to the original view. At this time, I decided to uh, erase the center lines. In order to extrude the retaining ring, I shall have to make it one continuous polyline. To accomplish that, I'm going to use the polyline edit command. I'll select a line. I'm asked if I want it to turn it into a polyline. I say yes. I type J to join, and I will select the entire drawing. Now I believe it is a polyline. And so I'm going to switch to a southeast isometric view. I'm going to select a polyline now and extrude it a distance of 0 0.094. The, ex the extruded part looks correct. And so at this point, I'm going to go back again and make one uh, view instead of the two views shown. And then I'll move the view back into the top or plan view. <coughs> Having finished the solid model, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing. So I'll click on the Layout 1 button. 
As you can see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll use the M view command and select two diagonal intersections to create the larger and smaller viewports. I'll double click inside the smaller viewport, switch to isomet southeast isometric, and then pan and zoom so as to enlarge the solid model. And to get back to paper space, I'll have to double click outside the smaller viewport. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of one to one. Even though individual viewports can have, can be set to different scales. You can set the scale of the large viewport by selecting it and clicking on the properties button, going down to under miscellaneous to standard scale and then select any scale you want. Once the scale is set, you double click inside the viewport uh, so as to gain access and then you can pan so as to hide the solid model. And then double click outside the viewport to get back into paper space. Finally, if we don't want the large and small rectangles to be printed, we can go to the layer dialog box and freeze the layer viewports. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed the tutorial and want more, please comment on it. Thank you for watching.